Hi. We're here at local Gov Camp in Birmingham um, and I'm talking to Toby Bloom. We've just come out of a session on visualisation of data and policy making. We've had an interesting discussion. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about what we've been uh, discussing? Sure. So I'm, uh, I'm Toby Bloom. I run a charity called Urban Forum that uh, helps community groups, local people to have influence over what happens in their area. Um, particularly interested in understanding how we can make policy and data much more accessible in order to uh, help them to engage with decisions and, and, and understand things to make informed choices. One of the ideas I've been involved with is uh, something called Visual Camp, which um, is basically trying to, to bring together policy makers, developers and designers and people working at the front line or using services or citizens, community groups, um, to, to try and work out how uh, we can visualise data and policy, find creative ways to stimulate debate, to understand the perspectives that different audiences uh, have, their needs, interests, concerns, uh, perceptions, really as a kind of process to encourage um, discussion, but also as a way of, of better understanding how we can begin to present things in more visual ways or indeed, you know, um, just, just ways that, that are more accessible. Uh, so that's, that's the idea of kind of uh, visual camp. And um, I think a lot of the debate here and more generally is kind of focusing on data and how we visualise data and make it accessible, useful to people, how we kind of create tools to uh, enable um, data to be used more effectively by citizens, local government, others. Um, much less kind of focus on how we visualise policy. And uh, I think that there's a lot of potential to actually bring things to life, be that through stories, pictures, business canvases, you know, whatever the, the, the kind of approach or technique that we might use, actually we can articulate in pictures or stories kind of what, it, what is the essence of a particular policy, be that big society or community rights or, uh, you know, whatever else, electoral reform, because unless we do that, it's very, very difficult to expect citizens to kind of uh, engage in any meaningful way without a clear understanding. It's also as a stepping stone towards immersing themselves or taking a bit more of an interest in a particular topic. So, um, you know, some pictures that make them want to read a brief summary, that make them want to read the source material of the kind of policy gobbledygook themselves. So it's a, it's a way to entice people to engage with issues and really help local government, public sector, community groups and citizens to engage in a much more fruitful deliberation of issues and engage in taking decisions together. Right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Toby.